Hello Fleet, and welcome to another episode of Nautical Tales, where I showcase the best replays from the past week in World of Warships. Now, before I get into the actual replays themselves, I do want to say one thing, which is for those of you who are waiting for more World of Warships content, uh, be patient, I'm definitely getting to them, because I do have a very, very free summer, so lots of videos coming. Now, the first replay comes from Slingarian, and Slingarian is playing a Yubari. Now, for those of you who know me, the Yubari is one of those ships that I just don't really like. For me, it's a ship that doesn't seem to work. Um, because for me, the guns aren't really good enough, the torpedoes aren't good enough, but Slingarian finds a way to play his Yubari. So, as you can see, um, he's already managed to nuke himself one destroyer with his torpedoes, and he's just super patient with them. Like, he's, you know, he's dodging and weaving with his ship, so he's not really taking too, too many hits. And he's just very, very patient with his torpedoes, just waiting for the enemy you know, ship to sort of line itself up and just fires two torpedoes at a time. He doesn't fire more, a lot. You don't see him firing all of his torpedoes at once. He just sort of fires two, fires two, and that's his second kill already. So that's pretty impressive because the Yubari is, like I mentioned earlier, just not a very, very good ship overall. And I, I'm sort of impressed by this because I could never do this in a Yubari ever, no matter how hard I tried. Um, the Yubari never worked for me, but just seems to work. I mean, it just looks. Sling is just very patiently like two torpedoes. Here's another two torpedoes. And another two torpedoes. And each of these two torpedoes are being, you know, sort of shot at different targets. And just look at the patience. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too impatient with the Yubari. I think that might be one of my big flaws is I'm just like, oh my god, I gotta get as many torpedoes in the water, try to kill things as fast as possible. But Maybe this is the trick with the Yubari, it's just, you know, nice and patient. Oh, look at that dodge. <laughs> right under the stern of a ship. Yeah. And Sling just sort of patiently picks everything off. At, at this point, I mean, part of me is wondering why the other team hasn't really focused on shooting at him at all. Um, he's the one that's been just pretty much nuking stuff with torpedoes, but the enemy team isn't shooting at him. Where can I find an enemy team like this? <laughs> Somehow, when I play a ship and I get a chance to torpedo stuff, it never, ever goes this well. I mean, the enemy team never does this. I mean... Oh, Chase. Maybe I should just play the low tiers. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, he's just so patient with his torpedoes and the enemy team just lets him. Like, look at that. that. That battleship over there is just sailing in a nice straight line, no evasive maneuvers, no speed changes, nothing. And the torpedoes are just hitting home one after another. Look at that! <laughs> I want an enemy team like that! The ones that don't move, the ones that just let me torp them to death. Oh, anyway, Sling. Um, good job, by the way. I mean, and he manages four kills in a Yubari, oh, pretty much just with Torps only, which to me is actually quite awesome. Thank you for this replay. Next up, yeah, more torpedoes, because I told you this entire episode's focused on torpedoes. This is Captain Horatio Spudman, and Captain Horatio is in a Kitakami. Now, you guys have seen me play Kitakamis before. Kitakamis are ships that are very, very situational, but in the right circumstances, be warned, the Kitakami is one very scary ship. Now, look at the map right now. Coming down the 8-9, well, the 8-line, is, I think, two cruisers and an enemy battleship. And they have no clue that Captain is here. <laughs> Which means that when you're a Kitakami captain and you see a situation like this, you are in absolute heaven. Because you can literally dump all of your torpedoes right there, right on the like sort of very edge of an island. And the enemy ships are not going to know that there are torpedoes here until those torpedoes actually start, you know, sort of getting into their acquisition range. Okay, so now Captain Horatio is spotted. You know, he's taking fire, but those torpedoes are on their way already. <laughs> And if you're in a battleship, and I can tell you this, if you're in a battleship and you see that many torpedoes heading towards you, you don't even dodge. You just sit there and go, okay, yep. <laughs> Throw in the towel, I surrender, done. <laughs> so he gets one. He gets one. But those torpedoes carry on, and he's able to actually turn his ship around and throw even more torpedoes at the enemy team. But check this out. This is actually really awesome. I mean, it's just 
Like, this is what happens when a Kitakami gets into sort of optimal position, and the enemy team is unaware initially that the Kitakami is there, because they'll just keep taking torpedoes, because there's just so many, right? The Kitakami just throws out tons of torpedoes. Um, and if you get the second wave off as well on the other side, ooh, look, there goes the uh, other cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even see where the HP bar is. It's not even spotted. It gets nuked by torpedoes. And then this one gets almost killed by torpedoes. Almost. And Captain Horatio sits there and finishes them off with his guns. So thank you so much for the replay, by the way, Captain. That was awesome. Oh, and by the way, if you guys pay attention to the chat, that battleship captain is so salty after this. <laughs> and you know what? I mean, I've played battleships. I know. When I see Kitakavis and they're in the in the right positions and they just throw their torpedoes I mean I, I I'm not gonna say I'm salty but I can get pretty upset as well <laughs> and the last torpedo replay of the day this comes from Tunny69 from uh, I believe Romania so hello to you from Canada I uh, hope you're doing well today and there you go well I mean Tunny's in a Shimakaze and Shimakazes are known to be able to throw torpedoes at very long range at stuff but remember when Sling was playing and I complained that I wish I had enemy teams that did this? Well, watch this, because the enemy team oh, just does... Yeah, just watch. And this is a high tier battle too, eh? These are uh, higher tier battleships who really should be somewhat aware that things are happening. But watch this, Tuddy launches all three waves of his torpedoes. These are the really high damaging, really long range torpedoes. And off they go. And look at the map. And the battleships on the enemy team are just straight line. <laughs> They're just sailing in a nice straight line. Now, you know when you're in a torpedo ship, seeing that is like awesome. Because <laughs> you know your, your torps are going to have a lot better chance of hitting stuff. Now, this part kind of shows just how much attention those battleships are actually paying. Because, you know, the destroyer has been spotted buy a ship on their team, it's popped up on their map, they should have made that sort of, I guess I'm not going to say assumption, but they should have at least started going, hey, wait a minute, hold on a second, there might be torpedoes in the water, might want to take some evasive action, but never mind, too late. There goes one battleship, there goes two battleships, nice double kill, and you know what the funniest part of all this was, is watch the chat now. <laughs> Just watch the chat. Tunny does something that is so uniquely... Uh, I'm not going to say Canadian, but somewhat uniquely Canadian, because the enemy battleship actually congratulates him for doing this. And look what Tunny says. <laughs> I found this part kind of abusing. The chat was funny. He goes, sorry. Like, Tunny, you did an amazing job. <laughs> oh, man. And he's just so polite. And I love it. It's just awesome. Thank you so much for that replay, too. And our final replay of the day comes from Bad McKippy, and Bad is in an Omaha. Now, the Omaha, mind you, does have AA, so it can't shoot down planes with its anti-aircraft guns. But nonetheless, this is really, really cool because it's because of the visual effect. Now, Bad here is going to line up that battleship with his main guns. He's going to fire a salvo. Now, watch what happens to those shells in the aircraft. Watch this. Shells? Aircraft? Boom. <laughs> Play shot down. Now, I'm pretty sure the AA did the work, but nonetheless, that is an incredibly cool thing to actually capture in-game. Thank you so much, Bad. And that brings us to the end of this video and probably the last replays from uh, the closed beta phase in PAD 0.3.1.5. Um, if you have now the new 0.4.0 patch replays, um, the replay system I think has uh, sort of been fixed. It kind of works again. So please do send me in those replays. If you want instructions on how to enable replays, please check out the video description below. There's also instructions on how to send your replays to me. Aside from all that, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you have yourselves a fantastic week, and I'll see you all on the high seas.